pizza is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst drug. You always should rotate those things and never do pizza all the time, but maybe a little coke occasionally or something. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> 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 eh? Ice cream is one of those as well. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 But you could learn how to make leaf smot ice cream. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, you out can. of coconut and Brazil nut and things. <laughs> and, and oh, oh pizza. Oh, no, pizza is is uh, is a drug. It's a very delicious drug, isn't it? It's one of my favourites. Yeah. Um, I eat a piece very occasionally, and I know it's not right. For me. Pizza, pizza, yeah. That's probably yes. Um, do you know when Americans are asked what the number one health food in the nation is? What do they say? Pizza. Yes. Man, no, it's pizza. Because it's got your four food groups. It's got your four food groups. That's why it's a health food. But anyway, uh, that's another story. Uh, let's see. So, uh, so if you have an over uh, underactive upper tummy, it primarily is because grains and beans are perpetually, continuously robbing a chloride molecule from your plasma and we have slightly underactive minerals of your body when you and we're going to talk about how that could come to be like that but phytic acid binds with all the mineral and everything so it can't be any absorption after that chloride molecule is missing and you need a chloride molecule to make hydrochloric acid so when you eat starch and feeds like that it could be robbing the chloride molecule from your body yes the darkness around the eyes thank you so much Having a bit of dark around the inner eye there shows that the upper tummy is slightly underactive. Uh, overactivity uh, is also caused because of eating starch. But it's a different reaction. What's happening when you eat starch and you have an overactive upper tummy is that you woof your food a bit, you know. You're woofing it. <laughs> Just inhaling it, you know. <laughs> Talking to someone. And <laughs> Just inhaling it. But, um, and so what creates an overactive upper tummy is uh, saliva doesn't really wet the food. So there it is. Saliva hasn't wet it. It's dry slightly. There's, now it starts, there's no piddling, there's no enzyme to break it down here, you see. So there it sits after you eat that, you see. <laughs> Don't feel good. Um, but it's really great when you get the head rush, you know. Mm. <laughs> you know it's like, oh, you know, you get that head rush, like, right, lasts about four minutes. You know? But it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, you get that head rush. Um, but, and then other things that sort of happen to you, you know, which is worth it, you know. What happens is after eating, you see, uh, you get the head rush, which is uh, part of the feeling of getting the endogenous opiates, you know. You know, and it's that baguette, you know, right? Um, and now, maybe uh, about uh, 12 minutes it needs, around about 11 or 12 minutes. Within 11 or 12 minutes of time, uh, what occurs is a slight sort of... <laughs> uh, slight relaxed state occurs. <laughs> I'm exaggerating it a bit, right? But but it's, it's an opiate, an opiate-like state it happens. But so the overactivity uh, happens when we eat the bread is because food stuff's not sort of really chewed up like it really should be. You know, there's big chunks and stuff, and there's no uh, saliva there, so there's no pitalin, there's no endothelial growth factor, which is very important. There's no parotid hormone, which is very important. None of that. That's why you should never bypass your mouth, you know. You see people go into the health food store, you know, and they find a, something and they, they, you know, like I said, just with water or something and it's dry, you know, and they've got all these pills. They got from the health food store. It's like, God, help us. <laughs> you think that people in the health food store would know, you cannot bypass your mouth. You cannot. can't just whack you something can't. in there and get it in there. Just bypass. You can't bypass you your mouth. But well, we're going to talk about that sure next. Okay. Mm. So what I'd like you to do right now mm. is not just, uh, one other thing. I'd like you to feel... F uh, show me your hands just one second. So I'd like you to you feel your person's hands and then they're going to feel yours. And what I'm asking you to feel just simply, which I could feel actually where inflammation is in the hands, 
I can feel where moisture content is in the hands and that's an indication to me what's happening further down in here and I can tell how much inflammation is in the body by moisture content. So you're going to feel moisture and you're going to just simply tell me if you feel wet and moist in the hands or dry. Okay? So you're just going to quickly do that. Yes.